Well, a Pitt researcher says he's confident that the state's much debated response to the pandemic saved thousands of lives. He talked one on one with KDKA's Megan Schiller, and she joins us now live to explain how the team of researchers used a model to make this prediction. Megan. It's a complex science, but the team of researchers say this much is simple. When the social distancing measures ramped up, we saw a decrease in cases and deaths. And then when we relaxed those social distancing measures, that is when the team says we saw a spike. Pitt researcher Mark Roberts doesn't do politics, but he does work with a very complex model to measure this. What we wanted to do was see what various different mitigation strategies were able to make a dent in the spread of COVID-19. Measuring the impacts of closing and reopening schools, offices, restaurants and stores, Roberts and his team came to a conclusion. I have no doubt whatsoever that the social distancing that was put in place in Pennsylvania saved many, many thousands of lives. Robert's research even came up Thursday when a team of doctors from across the state hosted a Zoom call defending the governor's actions. As a physician, we're concerned that blind, unquestioning loyalty to President Trump by elected officials in Harrisburg is getting in the way of good public health policies. Emergency physician Dr. Max Cooper didn't mince words, saying it's time to speak out. Physicians have a responsibility to speak out when we see harm being done, and harm is being done right now to the people of Pennsylvania. Republican leaders argue more harm happens when the dreams of small business owners crumble and students can't learn in the classroom. Robert says his model will soon include economic impacts. We want that to be so that you can balance off clinical outcomes and, and health outcomes with economic outcomes. I'm not saying the economic outcomes are not real. Of course they're real. And that research team tells me that this is just the beginning. The CDC has also asked the team to find a model to measure the effectiveness of a vaccine to see how effective would the vaccine need to be to make a difference and stop the pandemic. Reporting live downtown, Megan Schiller, KDK News.